The Roman philosopher Seneca said, sometimes even to live is an act of courage. There's a book called Hope Always, How to Be a Force for Life in a Culture of Suicide. It's by Dr. Matthew Sleeth, who writes, In the coming year, 10 million Americans will ponder ending their life. It is almost a certainty that someone you love has thought, is thinking, or will think about suicide. What will you say to them? How will you deal with suicidal thoughts if they cross your own mind? In some way or another, almost all of us have been touched by the issue of suicide. Some of us have tried it. Some of us have thought about it. Some of us know people who have tried it or people who were successful. From the pulpit, we are on the sub-theme in the valley, talking about death, the death of a loved one, and the hope of heaven beyond the grave. But also, Jesus can walk with us in times of crisis, specifically in thinking of choosing death or taking one's own life. And this isn't just about learning how to deal with times of crisis personally, but also how am I going to reach out to people that I know who are dealing with it? Dr. Sleeth wrote, The greatest thing for all of us to have an interest in is others. Depression can drag its victims into a solitary place where it's difficult to think of anything but themselves. The goal of every Christian should be not thinking less of ourselves, but thinking about ourselves less. And clearly, that's an imitation of our selfless Savior, Jesus, who is with us always, even in times of crisis. We'll talk more about it on Sunday. Hope to see you there. Thank you.